So last week we did a video on AMD and it got a lot of views, a lot of comments, and a lot of people asking me more about NVIDIA, Intel, other semiconductor companies. And so what I want to do is a video basically breaking down AMD the way that we talked last week, but looking at a bigger time frame, you know, in the past four or five years on NVIDIA and ultimately where do I think the stock is going to go within the next six to 12 months? Because it's looking like even though AMD is down massive, basically from 347 all the way down to lows right now of 114.30, which is a 65% drop in less than a year, it looks that if we continue on this trajectory, <clears throat> that we might end up actually dropping down to about 75 bucks. So let's get into it. Hit the like button, subscribe, comment any tickers you guys want me to go over down below in the comment section. Check out our Discord community. It's completely free. You guys get access to free courses, free live streams, free seminars, free webinars. All of that is over there. And uh, let's get started. So take a look at NVIDIA. This is a chart looking at September 7, or 2017 until right now. So basically five years. Stock has performed ridiculously well, especially from March 23rd, 2020, all the way up to those highs of about $350 in November of 2021. Solid 16 to 18 months. Since then, the stock has drastically fallen off of a cliff rightfully so with how the economy has been and the fact that i think that it, it was just very very overvalued at the time i think nvidia is a great company just like i think amd is a great company but it doesn't mean that the company wasn't ridiculously overvalued now looking at this right now you can see that we have fallen off of a cliff the biggest pockets of volume here on this weekly time frame is basically from about 120 up to 145 dollars and then the biggest pocket of volume is between 68 and about 30 dollars the areas where a stock will easily move through or to see drastic movements is when we have low areas of volume. And you can see that a very low area of volume is going to be horizontal. I'm going to you know, go through and, and just highlight this whole area. But a very low area of volume on this time frame is basically from $69 up to $120. And if you look, we were able to make a 67% move within three months. That is a very fast move. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, that's three months. It doesn't matter. Relative to how this stock moves, that is a massive, massive move. Now, the second area, if we go and uh, make this big area of volume, this is a big area of volume. But if we look at how thin the volume was above it to the upside, once we broke through this area, we were able to, within five months, move 142% which is a massive movement in such a short amount of time, especially since the stock did nothing but sit sideways for nine months to go from sitting sideways to nine months to almost a 140% return within six months, followed by a 59% drop within seven months. This is a very fast moving stock within these thin areas of volume on the volume profile. Now we're finally back down to a really good solid support. And if I throw out this pivot zone, you can see that we're back down to this thick area of volume on the volume profile, like I've said before. And if I go through with my pivot tool, you're going to be able to see here that this is that area of volume that we've talked about for a bit now. This is that area that we're holding in that we're looking really, really good at. Um, but at this very moment, uh, it's one of those situations where if we were to snap this area, like you could see right here, we are underneath of it today. I'm, I'm really more worried about where it closes. But if we were to snap under this area, the volume is so thin from 118 down to 70 within the next three to seven months, we could see NVIDIA back down at $67 and 92 cents, which I think ultimately, especially if the S&P 500 drops through the support we're at right now, I think ultimately looking at the next two years, that's probably what will end up happening. Now in the short term, there might be a play from 118 back up to 146, but I'm thinking ultimately that's probably where we will end up going. Now, if this is a ticker, that you guys really like and that you want to get into one of the best ways to invest in this honestly in my opinion is probably through cash secured puts selling cash secured puts each and every single week at a point where you want to get filled so if we just briefly open up webull right here and we go to the options chain one of the things that you're going to see is if we were to look at something like maybe an end of the year cash secured put for december 16th you can see 
that right now we're trading at about 114. Let's say you want to own the stock at about $90. Well, what you could do is sell a cash gear put at 90 bucks. You would have a 73% chance of profit. And if we closed above $90 by December 13th or by December 16th, which is 67 days away, you would make $371 for every $9,000 you tie up which is not terrible, right? It's really not. It's basically nearly a 4% return in 67 days. And yeah, that's not crazy. But when you look at the market that's not performing well to get a 4% return on a stock you want to buy long-term within the next 67 days, so basically two months and some change, and you get to buy the stock at $90 worst case scenario long-term, which I think is a phenomenal price for AMD, or I'm sorry, for NVIDIA. So for me, that's something I would be looking at is selling cash secured puts. If you really want to play the best possible strategy, I would sit back and wait to see if NVIDIA hits $65. But the biggest thing that I want to put across here is that we do not know what will happen on a bigger time frame. I ultimately think that there's probably a 65 to 70% chance the market's going to continue to go lower over the long term. But if you really want to get in, what I would recommend is doing what I'm currently doing, not with a or not with AMD or NVIDIA, but with a lot of stocks that I think are appropriately valued. I'm going in with about 30 to 50 percent of my portfolio and saving the rest if we make those lower lows. Hope this video helps, guys. Have a good day. See you later. Peace.